All right, so I'm not 100% certain if I'm going to post this because it's kind of a weird topic. It's kind of off topic for the stuff I normally discuss. So I watched some dude's channel called Death Noodles and I was doing like a back look at some of his stuff because I just got acquainted with him. And um, in one of the videos he was watching, they were talking about the new Cardi B and, and I forget the other person. I Look. I am a damn nerd. I like anime. I like video games. I like Lolita. I like nerd shit. So I'm not too up on pop culture shit like that. I am sorry. <laughs> so, um, but he was, he was, he covered this, this woman. I'm just going to call her Ka because she sounds like a fucking crow or her other, her, her name, her, her, the initials for her name is A.S. And I was just like, ass. It should be ass. But I'm going to say ass because it's more apt. But either way, and basically this woman was crying about how she didn't like this, the, the Cardi B song. That it was degrading toward women. That, oh my God, it's on YouTube and children can get a hold of this. Somebody please think of the children. And, and I, I. And a few things just rubbed me all the way the wrong way. So, let me take my glasses off because it's a lot of glare. So, I didn't write down a lot of points, but I wrote down a couple of points that she had. I refused. I looked on, I looked, I did a basic look on her channel, on Ass's channel. And, um, she has down that she's an opera singer. So, let's have a conversation opera singer to opera singer about why you despite whatever conservative leanings or whatever you may have you're actually not just I, I'm not going to speak on the conservative part because I don't consider myself a conservative I don't know what the fuck I consider myself but I'm not a conservative person I'm starting to think at 42 years old that conservatism is just a very sweet and polite way of saying subjugation, oppression, repression, suppression, all the wonderful ending in ION words that fucking make life awful. <laughs> Suppression, subjugation, just all of those things is just pretty much what I think of when I think of conservatism, conservative, conservative leanings, conservative movement, conservative lifestyles. Suppression, repression, oppression, it's just, <laughs> like I said, all the I-O-N, ending in I-O-N words that just make life fucking suck. So, one of the first things I put on here was the think of the children. Oh my God, it's on YouTube and the kids are going to be morally corrupted and oh my God, oh, oh my monocle is going to explode. So, okay. You do realize YouTube has parental controls and you do realize televisions have parental controls and you do realize as a parent you have actual control over the content that your young impressionable children get a hold of. And say you've gone through all the channels to, to minimize their exposure to things that you deem inappropriate or you don't like or what the fuck ever. And they still find out about it, I don't know, from the news because this was big news last week. Um, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Why don't you sit and have an actual conversation with your children and explain to them your side of the story. And if you can actually pull your head out of your ass for five minutes and see another point of view and just be like, it is up for you to decide how you want to live your life. I always said if I had... A child and that child was a girl that I would try to have the most honest conversation about sex that I could I don't want to give them the impression that you should you should you must save your your virginity for the person that you're gonna marry that might be for some people that might be the choice that some people want to make and I would like to think if I had a daughter I would be like it is for you to choose how you want to live Sex is one of those things, it is great when you can have it, <laughs> but there's a lot of responsibility and a lot of fucking judgment that goes into that. People judge you on just, people judge you on the fucking clothes that you wear. What do you think is going to happen when you throw sex and sexuality into the mix? People are going to get real fucked up on it. So you don't like something that's like, 
I don't know, this out of the, like, you like BDSM or whatever, or you, or you just like lovingly poking badgers with spoons. That's how you find your jollies. People are going to judge you for it. The only time you don't really get judged is if you have straight, heterosexual, missionary style sex, and that is not for everyone. That is not everybody's cup of tea, and everybody has their thing that they get off to. So... It is not for me to judge, but with sex, there's a lot of responsibility and there's a lot of judgment and a lot of fucking baggage. So you just got to be ready for the shit and you got to be mentally prepared for all that comes with it. But as long as everybody's consenting and they're down with whatever, it's fine. So you have that kind of honest fucking conversation and not this, you have to be a virgin when you get married or else you're just ruined for all time. I think it's just bullshit. And it goes into something else. A young friend of mine had had written or had, had complained about on his Facebook. And I'll talk about that another day, but I'm saying no. I just, I can't, I can't. I just, there's things that you can do as a parent that you might not necessarily want to have these conversations. It is you are the parent. You are driving that truck. The truck that is your un... You, when you bring a new life into the world, they are a blank fucking slate. It is for you to put information on that slate. Now, it would be good that if you put good information on it, but if you're going to put shitty information on it, that's on you. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. So, but... Ugh. The think of the children argument. I get so fucking tired of, well, somebody please think of the children. It's like, oh God, shut the fuck up. The kids are fine. So, especially when you talk to them and put in good information into them. But what the fuck ever? What the fuck do I know? So, part two, the degradation of women. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck to tell you about the degradation of women. People, uh, it's, <sighs> you ever heard of something called the Madonna Horror Complex? That you're either a mom or a whore. That, like, women can't be anywhere in between the two. And it's just like, I don't know what the fuck to say to that. So, <sighs> I don't know. I, again, this falls into people are going to judge you based on whatever the fuck they have in their deranged little minds. And... You just got to be the one to either be like, I'm fine with who I am, suck a dick. Or you sit there and be like, well, I'm being judged and it's not fair. So personally, I'm of the campus. You can judge me whatever the fuck kind of way you want to judge me. But you can also suck a bag of clappy dicks and stay the fuck out of my business. Unless I invite you into my personal business, you have no business judging or devaluing who I am as a person. Eat shit and die. Fuck you. So... <laughs> I, uh, it's, again, things that obviously annoy me. My face is hot. I am actually mad about this because this, it's just, again, conservative mindset is just, uh, equates, to, equ equates to me as suppression. So, uh, oh God. Okay. Number three, not, she said, not really music, quote, so that's also an issue. And that's when I went to go look and see who this chick was. And basically she's like, oh, I'm an opera singer. And I immediately got not just angry. I got real fucking pissed. Because this is the shit that makes other opera singers like me look all fucked up and bad. So let's have a confab opera singer to motherfucking opera singer here. So, I am, as y'all know, I have been in an opera recently, I have done two summer music programs, and I have basically been singing classical music and opera since I was about 13, 13, 13 or 14 years old. It was, it has been a long fucking time. Yes, I took a long ass hiatus, and I just recently started re-getting into being a musician again, but I consider myself at my ultimate core I am an opera singer I am a performer and I like classical music with my favorite composer being Mozart however I'm gonna stick the caveat on the shit that just because Mozart is my favorite composer just because I sing opera and listen to classical music is not a blanket statement that is that is the only music available 
to anybody on the planet. Dude, let's take a brief look at my phone, shall we? Which the thing went off. Hold on, let me pause and we'll take a brief look at my phone. Hold up. All right, so brief look at my phone. Now, this is my playlist on um, Samsung Music. Anime music. I have The Wind is Blowing, Howling by Abingdon Boys School. The Wind is Blowing is the, the Street Fighter 2V song. So, Bronze Martyrdom, which comes from the Bronze Cathesis Zetsu Ai series. Um, 19 O'Clock News by Tokyo. All of these songs, with I think, no, I think every last song on here is Japanese. So, I listen to anime music. I have the Brandenburg Concertos by Johann Sebastian Bach, which, by the way, if I ever hear this in a concert, I'm falling asleep because I'm Pavlov dogged into falling asleep on this because I used the Brandenburg Concertos for decades to fall asleep to. So, I have that going. I have Mozart playlist. All Mozart, all day. I have the soundtrack to Silent Hill 2 on here. I have... The soundtrack to The Evil Within, the first game on here. I have, the fuck else? I have Resident Evil music on here. I have Castlevania 3 original soundtrack on here. I have, let's look at Zumba playlist for when I'm doing my Zumba exercises. I have my unskippable playlist, which is literally a wide ass array of very fucking random music. I have not my kind of people. I have fucking Rammstein on here. I have DJ, I have Twist, which is a um, Bollywood fucking song. I have Thrashylvania, which is a um, Arm Cannon, which is a video game music band or former video game music band. I have their music on here. I have Chicago 25 or 6 to 4. I have Serbian fucking thrash metal, Kobold's death parade on this fucking phone. So, in relaying my list, that is to say, just because somebody listens to classical music doesn't mean that's all they listen to all day every day. If that's all she wants to listen to all day every day, more power to you, honey bun. But I'm saying, it's not the only shit on the fucking block. Oh, by the way, I do have rap on here, too. I have, um... Cypress Hill on here. And, by the way, it's my all-time, one of my all-time favorite songs, Hand on a Pump, which is basically with the, with my sawed-off shotgun, hand on a pump, left hand on a, left, or left hand on a 40, puffing on a blunt, sawed-off shotgun, the N-words didn't jump, la 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 la. So, yes, I listen to all kinds of music. And Hand on the Pump is one of the most violent songs on my, on my phone. And I do love the shit out of this song. So, I don't like it when people say something isn't music because they don't like it or they don't agree with it. There's my least favorite genre of music. The music I will hand on a Bible, swear up and down, is actually played in hell is Barbershop Quartet. I fucking can't stand Barbershop Quartet. It's just, it's the kind of music that makes me want to destroy the world when I hear it. It is just not for me. I'll just say, it's not for me. It's not my cup of tea. There are people, that is their shit. They can't wait to hear a Barbershop Quartet. Me, I hear a Barbershop Quartet and I'm just like wanting to, to, to just destroy everything in my path. So... It's not for me, but I'm not going to sit there and deride the shit and say, oh, because I don't like it, it's not real music, and it's an actual issue. Fuck you. And I don't, I, I don't mean to have a judgment, but yeah, seriously, fuck you. It's like, just because you don't like the lyrics, just because you deem them something that is just dirty, I don't consider it dirty. I think, and honestly, I think, one, it's not that bad. Because that was the thing. She was like, it was pornographic. Oh, my God. What the fuck pornos are you watching? I have one shit that'll make your hair curl. And sit there and just watch it like, oh, okay, whatever. Either that or I'm just fucking desensitized. I've seen worse shit in fucking Lust. The new game is getting ready to come out. Lust from Beyond, which it has a release date of September 24th. Go play that shit. Go get you an OnlyFans and play that shit. 
That's not that you know here I need to talk about that on video game vlog, but what the fuck ever. So I see this is gonna be way worse stuff on Lust from Beyond than that was in that video. It really it wasn't even any nudity. It wasn't even any boob in it. And they're talking about like wet pussy. So the fuck what? It's nice that people are able to get off to something. It's nice when you can get off the things. So just because it's not what you particularly want to hear get talked, which by the way, in classical music, yeah, there's a lot of dirty shit that goes on in classical music. Don't let the high notes fool you. I was thinking when I was thinking about this and steadily getting more and more pissed off, there is a song that goes to, it's not in the opera, it's, it was just in that, it's kind of like fan fiction for that opera, it goes to the opera Faust. Basically, Faust is some Rosemary's Baby shit, where basically this old fucking dude is getting ready to cack off in the desert, warm it, or frozen embrace, or what the fuck ever. The devil comes up, because he's like, help me, Cthulhu, Satan, somebody help me, I don't want to die, I'm too old and wonderful to die. Satan rolls up like, can I help you? And he's like, I don't want to die. He's like, alright, I help you out. You gonna, We gonna give you a second chance in this, this situation, but you gotta help me, but I ain't gonna tell you how you gotta help me. So, he makes Faust all young and lovely again. Again. He goes up, he talks to this chick Gretchen, he seduces her and sleeps with her, which the, the Arya going into that, where they, before they sleep together, is kind of like hot, is low-key hot, and then Satan gets her pregnant through Faust, so yeah, people was fucking, and she is pregnant with Faust's kid. That wasn't all wholesome shit, I'm sure, so, but... Some dude named Schubert rolls up and does fan fiction for the shit. And, um, does fan fiction aria for the shit. And does Gretchen, I'm Spinrader. And I love this song and I really want to sing it when I can never get my German shit together. And basically, she's basically singing about how he just looks so fucking fine. And she wants to kiss him. And, and, it's just, and she's working on a, a spinning wheel. And, like, the music is going with the spinning wheel. And, and she's, like, steadily getting hornier and hornier and hornier. And she basically fucks up. And she's, like, thinking, like, I always say, like, he's like, oh, I want him to kiss me. I want him to touch me. I want to suck on my titties. And <laughs> basically. And... Like, by the time she gets all super flustered, she messes up, and then she has to restart the wheel, and the piano does the restarting of the spinning wheel. And at the end of the song, she's just like, well, my fucking life is ruined. My, it's just, this shit is just like this now, so oh fucking well. And that's Gretchen, I'm spin rider. So she's getting, basically, getting wet via spinning spindle. To thinking about fuck, fucking literally fucking Faust. So little did she know she's gonna get knocked up with, and end up in a Rosemary's Baby situation. But that's neither here nor there. So yeah, in my favorite opera, Don Giovanni, that man is a damn dog and was sticking his dick in literally everything that moved. The list song, his servant is rattling off all the women that he has stuck his dick into. He it was like one thousand three women in Spain alone. And I'm just like, again, you're not slick with the with the sex talk in classical music. And let's cap this shit off with the marriage of Figaro. The whole fucking premise to marriage of Figaro is the count in the marriage of Figaro spends most of the goddamn opera trying to stick his dick in the virgin wife Susanna of his servant, um, Figaro. You're not fucking slick. With the shit, so it's not like people haven't been talking about sex in music since, I don't know, people realized they could have sex with each other. So, ugh, I can't with shit like this. So, to you home bleed at, get the fuck over yourself. It's not, if you don't like something, that's fine. It's okay to not like music you don't agree with it you don't like it that's fine i'm not saying you have to like oh my god you have to love rap i'm not saying that you can like whatever the fuck you like you cannot deride it because it's not your chosen genre so as for me i heard it i thought it was good it's just if i heard it again i would listen to it do i want to buy it do i want to own it not 
particularly, I'm okay with hearing it wherever it's being played. I ain't gonna be bad at it if somebody playing it. I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, flipping tables over and shit. It's like, oh, okay. It's, <laughs> that's basically where it is for me. It was good. It's just not gonna be on a playlist for me to be listening to because I liked it, but it didn't slap like that for me. I'm sure it slaps like that for other people. It just didn't slap like that for me. And that's fine too. But I'm not gonna sit there and say somebody's chosen art is not art that's bullshit fuck you it reminds me i remember when i was a teenager and i told this boy who liked me at the time he was such an asshole i fucking hated him um he was like i told him he was like rattling off all these songs and even then i didn't know what the fuck popular music was talking and he was like well what do you listen to i was like i listen to classical music he was like why do you listen to old white people music and i just was like you're a fucking douchebag, get away from me. I didn't say that, because at the time, I was not the personality that I am now. If I was the personality, I was like, you're a fucking douchebag, get the fuck away from me. But, it's the same thing. By saying, by, by virtue of you not liking it, it's automatically not real music, or it's not for you. One thing you gotta understand about me, because I listen to a literal wide variety of music, if it speaks to you, then... That's what music is supposed to do. Music is the one thing that trans that transcends humanity's fucking bullshit. It's not about age. It's not about gender. It's not about religion. It's not about orientations of any sort. It's just whatever speaks to you. And that's why I love music. It just speak if it speaks to you, then embrace it. So, and fuck that bitch for saying this shit. Not all opera singers are all uppity and fucked up like that. And I just, I, fuck that bitch. So, and the last thing which pissed me off was the quote, we need, conservative women need to take the culture back. Why can't we share it? <laughs> like, why does it have to be, well, these people are talking about this and they're bad. So we need to take it back. Because they don't deserve it because they were saying bad things. There's room for everybody's opinion. Provided everybody knows to stay in their lane. One word that I hate is tolerance. Like, it, it, I have tolerance for other races. I have tolerance for other sexual preferences and orientations. I don't like the word tolerance. Tolerance to me is like, I guess if I have to hang around you, I will, I'll do it. But I don't have to treat you with dignity and respect. I, get, I just have to hang around you if I have to. That's how I hear tolerance in my head. It should be acceptance. Yo, we are not on the same page. We're not always going to be on the same fucking page. But, hey, let's just hang and chill. And if we don't agree, then we just don't fucking agree. What the fuck happened to that? Why does it have to be this zero fucking sum ass game of this or that? There's no, there's not an in between anymore. It's either you're over here, you're over the fuck here, and nobody's gonna meet in the middle. And that's just such a fucked way of looking at the world because the world is never black and white. It always operates in a series and spectrum of gray. And I mean, I understand people want the echo chamber, they want validation, they want all that shit, but sometimes you just don't fucking get it. And you need to be comfortable enough with yourself to be like, okay, I don't understand this, but that's fine. So, oh my God, I, I it's pissed me off. My face is still as hot. My face is on fire because I am that angry. I do, I did not like any of that. So, and I'm not going to sit there and, and, and say these women were fucking, if you don't agree with it, don't fucking listen to it. That's all you got to do. Literally, because all it does is throw fuel on the fire of, and people, and like I said, I was like, what? Oh, Cardi B here to do so? Oh, it wasn't until I watched that, that I went and watched that video. It was just like, oh, that I was just like, oh. It's pornography. It's going to be enough smut and trash from Lust From Beyond that, I child is gonna get what she needs on the smut train. That wasn't slapping for me. It's like, come on now. 
I know where to get the porno. So, <laughs> yes, I do. And yes, I fucking said it. So, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. But, yeah, that pissed me off. And I got to go. I got to. I got a shitload of shit I got to do. I haven't picked nothing. And we leave on the 30th. I ain't got nothing together. <laughs> so, I don't fucking know. But let me get the hell out of here. And I will see y'all next time. I am sorry for this rant. But, she needs to stop. So, later. I said later.